Hey guys, <clears throat> this is Gary again with my second video. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a couple of um, concealed carry options. Uh, this is the first one here. I've got um, another one here that I'm going to show you in just a second. Uh, but this one um, has worked really well for me. This is a Springfield Armory XDS in the 9mm. Uh, by the way, I've, I've checked. Um, there's no bullets in these guns at all, and, they're, and they're, there's no rounds in the chamber or anything. So um, we're, we're good there. But um, So yeah, great option. It's a 9mm. This one carries 7 in the magazine and 1 in the chamber. It's got a safety on the trigger, so you have to actually decompress that little... Um, uh, safety there before you can actually pull the trigger along with the um, on the back of the handle itself this will be decompressed also so both of those have to be decompressed before the gun will actually fire that's the safety on this on this weapon it also has the ambidext ambidextrous um, uh, magazine release here and same on the other side there <clears throat> so uh, if you're left-handed or right-handed, it, it, it's, uh, it's going to work for you really well. A lot of guns, you can swap that. If it's on the left, you can swap it over to the right. Or if it's on the, you know, on the right, you can swap it over to the left. But this one, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, <clears throat> this one here has um, uh, worked really well for me. I like the, the look, the feel. It's, it's very concealed. It's... Um, it's I think I paid um, somewhere around the $400 range for that one, which actually for this gun is uh, pretty good. Uh, I got it for $399 with and no sales tax. I used to live in Oregon. So um, <clears throat> just a really solid, uh, I, I think, a good deal. I'd wanted this one for a while, and I finally got it. And then um, the holster for this one, I went with the um, just your standard kind of polymer uh, you know, IWB um, concealed carry case there. It, it's a left-handed for myself, so this one actually costed me quite a bit uh, because I think it might just be that it was, um, uh, <clears throat> sorry, that's the wrong case for that one. It's actually this one. But um, it, was, it was actually just more expensive because I think for Springfield Armory XDS left-handed, it was just a lot more uncommon. So, um, yeah, it just cost me like $70 for this one. But it's okay, I really wanted it. And these are cool because you can adjust them. You can adjust that. So this just snaps right in there. And it's a nice tight fit, but not too tight where like if you needed it, it's not gonna be stuck. You just give it a little pull and it's uh, gonna work out great for you. So again, snaps right into place. And there's also a screw here that if you tighten or uh, untighten that that's gonna you can determine how hard and firm you want that um, that gun to be inside that holster so that's really cool and then also here uh, the clip itself adjusts as well uh, just by uh, loosening the screw you can kind of uh, angle that just a little bit one way or the other just to determine the angle of how it's going to sit inside your um, whether it's your back or your side and your um, inside your pants there so um, I carry it on my left, like I said. It takes a while to get used to, but once you've used it and carried it for a while, it's almost like you kind of feel weird when you don't have it. So it's, it's really cool that way. But I would recommend, if, if you're new to carrying a gun, uh, wear it around the house even, you know, uh, wherever you go, just to get familiar and get used to it and get comfortable with it. Um, that's what I did is I just kind of wore it around the house, you know, a little bit here and there. And, um, that allowed me to just get uh, more comfortable and more familiar with how to carry it and what I liked and what I preferred. So again, um, Springfield Armory XDS 9mm. Uh, it's got a 3.3 inch barrel and um, I've shot this thing several times and I just uh, really enjoy it. <clears throat> There's your, uh, you know, magazine. And then I went out and got just a little um, butt plate there, magazine plate. Uh, it's aluminum. You can get these online. Uh, they're just a cool feature to add if you if you want. Um, so anyway, there's that one. Uh, it has served me well. That is my first option for my uh, when it comes to concealed carry. 
Uh, this brand on this one here is a uh, Tolster. <clears throat> so it's a Tolster holster. Um, there you go on that one. And then on the next one, we've got our uh, Springfield Armory, or excuse me, the uh, Smith & Wesson uh, Shield. This is also in the 9mm. This one here is the same. It's got seven, uh, seven in, the uh, in the magazine, one in the chamber. Uh, the safety on this one is actually on the trigger itself, um, similar to the XDS, but just a different style. If you see here, you actually have to pull that a little bit before you can actually pull the trigger back. So if you're not pulling this bottom part of the trigger, it's not going to go back. See here, it's you got to actually pull the bottom part there for it to go back. So that's the only safety on this weapon. So if you're not comfortable with that, this would probably not be a, a, the first choice for you. But um, again, it's your determination if you if you like to hold a chamber in the round or not. I prefer not to. Um, that's just an extra safety precaution for, for myself. And that's kind of the route I went with uh, with that one. I, I, I like this. I, I ended up getting a, a $10 Hogue grip here and threw that on there. I thought it just looked really nice. And it feels really good in the hand because it's got that extra um, spot for your finger, the grooves here for your finger. And then another addition here was the, um, the magazine plate on this one, similar to, to my other carry. It just, it, again, it's aluminum as opposed to the plastic flat one that it came with. And it adds that extra lip there for your pinky um, and just has a real nice, good um, feel and grip to it. It's just, uh, it's a nice tight fit. It's comfortable. The rubber hog grip makes it feel a little bulkier and uh, fits my hand a little bit better. And I just like this one. It's a little bit lighter than the Springfield. Um, it's not as heavy. And so I do like that a little bit, and um, so that helps. Um, on this one here, I went with the, um, it's a different brand, it's Amber Ride, but it's very similar to the Tolster, um, very similar. It's just got like a different design, cool, cool design to it. Again, same thing with the screw and the screws here where you can adjust the um, tension here and then the um, degree at which you want that clip there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's worked out well for me. I do like to carry this one, but I like the other one as well. It just kind of depends on how I feel that day, I guess. Um, this one here, I added, um, the little white paint. Um, a lot of guys are doing this, um, to their guns. I knew about it for a while and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it, but I went ahead and went with, went with it. Uh, you just use nail polish and you, you kind of wipe it on there with like a Q-tip and then you could use a credit card to um, wipe it off and then let it dry and then take your nail polish remover and just lightly um, clean up the excess and uh, and you got a nice little um, added kind of feature to your weapon did it there on the, the top part on the nine and then of course over here um, on the other side so I thought it turned out great I like the look of it it kind of makes me feel like I got a new gun uh, even though it's the same gun and if at any time I wanted to I could uh, I could clean that all out might be a little challenging but uh, guys say that you can do that you can clean those out and wipe it up good good so but I like it I don't see myself doing that <clears throat> turned out great so uh, but there's a couple options for you guys um, you know these are my my two options my two choices that that I uh, really like and um, <clears throat> you know it's just a preference for me these are uh, two highly recommended uh, concealed carry options um, I've seen guys just around town at the local gun uh, the gun store you know I ran into him and he was carrying one of those and then I ran into another guy at a gun show um, and I got to talking to him, and he was carrying one. And then I saw a guy coming to McDonald's, and he had a full-size one that he was carrying outside his, uh, outside of his pants. And I just saw it, and it was a full-size, and I thought that was a good look, too. But um, So I see a lot of guys with these, and I've run into people with them. This one here, this, this uh, shield, I mean, that one's been around. That one's just a, a very uh, uh, cost-effective option for you. Um, I think I got this one for... Um, I got this and the uh, complete uh, lower AR-15 combo deal on Palmetto State for like, I think it was like 
$500 total for, for this and for a complete lower on uh, palmettostatearmory.com. So, but I've never seen that <clears throat> ever since I, got, I bought that. I haven't seen it since. So, um, you know, good luck. But I know you can get these guns at a pretty, pretty good deal. <clears throat> so it's just a matter of, you know, where you can find it. Um, and then the Springfield XDS, <clears throat> I think, is going to be a little bit more. Probably around the 420 to 460 range. Um, so it just depends on where you live and uh, where you're looking. But yeah, just a couple options there for you. Um, I really like both. And um, I know there's other ones out there. Um, but these are the two concealed carries that, uh, that I have and that I go with. So yeah, a couple options for you guys. Um, hope you guys like the video. And there's more to come with that. So you guys have a good one. Oh,